Hey everybody, do you want to improve your vocabulary? Today we're going to practice using stronger adjectives so you can speak more fluently. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, all right. Welcome everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be in the world. Thank you for joining me. I am Greg. I am your teacher. I am your teacher. I hope you have many teachers because it's important to have lots of different people who are helping you to improve your English, different topics, different subjects, different styles things to learn and I hope you enjoy improving your English skills so today we're going to review and practice some amazing awesome adjectives adjectives we gotta use we gotta we gotta use stronger more powerful words instead of saying very 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 there's better adjectives to use. So this is just part of improving your overall vocabulary. And we're going to review about 20 stronger, more powerful adjectives that you can use in everyday conversation, everyday conversation. So please remember to like this video. We're doing this so that you can improve. We want to help you helping you improve and subscribe to the channel. We make new videos almost every day, new videos constantly that are designed for you to learn, improve and enhance your English skills, your speaking ability and your listening ability. All right, so let's get started. We're going to review some adjectives, how to say things in a more powerful, stronger way. So instead of saying something is very expensive, something is very expensive, you say it's costly. It's costly. Something is very expensive. It's costly. If something is very dirty, what else can we say? How else? What other word can we use to describe something that's really dirty, very dirty, super dirty? We say it's filthy, filthy. Good somebody is or something if something is very tall something is very tall we can call it towering a person can be towering we say that guy is he the basketball player is towering over the rest of the people towering if something is really easy or very easy we can use a better word to describe that we can say it is effortless effortless requires no effort it's so easy so easy if something is very wet if something is very very wet we can say it's soaked soaked something's got lots of lots of water in it it's really wet it's soaked it's soaking wet Something is really slow, very slow. We say it is sluggish, sluggish. Like if I wake up in the morning and I haven't had coffee yet, I could say I feel really sluggish in the morning before I get my coffee, sluggish, moving slow. Traffic, the traffic is not moving very fast the traffic is very slow the traffic is sluggish that's a really good word i like that word sluggish if we say very good very good we can also change that to excellent if something is very good make a stronger adjective use the word excellent excellent if somebody something is very stupid very stupid we say it's idiotic Idiotic, could be an idea, could be a movie, could be a person. But anything that's very stupid, we can call that idiotic. That's a, that's a good adjective, strong adjective, idiotic, idiotic. Next one, 
very happy. Instead of saying very happy, we can say ecstatic. Ecstatic. I was ecstatic when I learned that my vacation was free. Ecstatic. I was so happy. If something's very exciting, we can call it exhilarating. Exhilarating. Yeah. The roller coaster, the roller coaster was exhilarating. Something is very hot. We say it's scorching, scorching hot, scorching. It's like burning, all right? Something is very weak. Instead of saying very weak, we could say frail, like a person. Maybe like, uh, like an old person who's not very healthy. They're very weak. You say, my grandmother is 90 years old and she's very frail. She's very frail. It means very weak, not strong, frail. Something is very little. Instead of saying very little, we can call it tiny. Tiny. I think everybody knows that word, right? Something is very bright. Here's a good word. Very bright. We say it's luminous. Luminous. Look that word up. That's an interesting word, luminous. If you're very busy, very busy, you're swamped. I have no time to go to the gym because I'm swamped at work. Swamped means very, very busy, swamped. If you're very careful, you could say I'm cautious. Be cautious. Very careful means cautious. If something is very clear, you say it's obvious. It's obvious just means it's easy to understand. It's not complicated. It's obvious, obviously. Something is very colorful. We say it's vibrant. That's a cool word, vibrant. All of these adjectives, sometimes they're hard to remember, but if you review this list of words, when you hear them used on television or in a movie, or if you read the words, then you'll have a better understanding of these words. So this is not just for you to speak more fluently, but it's also for you to understand what other people are saying. So if I say um, the colors of the rainbow are vibrant, or that shirt you are wearing is vibrant, then you understand what it means. It means very bright and very colorful. If you're very confused, you can say I'm perplexed. Hmm, perplexed. If something is perplexing, it means it's very difficult to understand. It's confusing, perplex. Very creative. You can say innovative, innovative. Some people who make new products or think of new ideas are innovative, creative people. They innovate. Something is very crowded, like a city or a town or the subway station. You can say the subway station is bustling, bustling. On Saturday, the shopping mall was bustling, bustling. It just means lots of crowd, uh, lots of people, very crowded, bustling. Hey, that's it. That's it. That was quick. That's all you need for today. About 20 new adjectives that you can use in your everyday life. Use stronger, more powerful words, improve your vocabulary so that you can speak more fluently, more clearly every day. Do something new, do some reading, do some listening, do an online lesson, take 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever time that you have every day, just take a little step forward so that you can improve your English. So that's all I have for right now. Thank you for joining me again. I am Greg. I hope you come back again soon. Make sure that you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share if you find it useful. And also don't forget to subscribe. That really helps us to grow and introduce new topics for you to learn. So until next time, we'll see you soon. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.